Whether it's beautiful architecture, unique designs and colors, or impressive military fortifications, there are various reasons tourists decide to visit the multiple castles around the globe. Some are so old in their history and stories so complex that only a brief account has been provided here. But believe me when I say they have amazing tales to tell. But don't take my word for it. Stay tuned to number one to find out which castle is the most visited site in its entire country. Number 10. Windsor Castle, England As the longest occupied palace in Europe, having been the seat of the reigning monarch since Henry I, and the only castle on this list which you can enter without prior invitation, the Windsor Castle in England is home to Queen Elizabeth. The castle that originally stood on the site was built in the 11th century following the Norman invasion of England by William the Conqueror. Though it was originally built as a Mott and Bailey castle to protect Norman dominance in the area, it has since undergone numerous changes and modifications with the addition of stone fortification and also the luxurious royal quarters. Today the castle is a popular tourist attraction, the weekend home of the current queen, and a venue used for hosting state visits. This is one castle that's definitely worth visiting. But is it still the residence of the Queen of England? You'll have to make do with viewing it from the gate or getting that invite. Don't forget to add me as your plus one. Number 9. Prague Castle, Czech Republic Situated in Prague, the capital city of the Czech Republic, Prague Castle originally dates back to 870. However, it has been developed and changed over the centuries. Some of the major changes to the castle are as follows. In the 12th century, a Romanesque palace was built there but this was later rebuilt in Gothic style by Charles IV in the 14th century. Later in 1541, many parts of the castle were destroyed as a result of a large fire and had to be rebuilt. The centuries of rather drastic redevelopments ended in the 18th century, with the last major project being completed. Since then, only small alterations and building upkeep has been completed. Not only has the castle undergone various stages of development, it has also changed hands and usage many times. Originally, it was the seat of power for the kings of Bohemia, Holy Roman Emperors, and the presidents of Czechoslovakia. Today, it is the seat of power of the head of the state in the Czech Republic. With over 1.8 million visitors a year, this castle is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Prague, and for good reason. Number 8. Prijama Castle, Slovenia Next up is a cleverly designed castle, especially if you want a defendable home. Situated in the historical region of Inner Carniola in south-central Slovenia, this Renaissance-era castle was built under natural rocky arch, making it look like it's been built right into the rock. Although this design is excellent for defensive reasons, it does cause problems if the castle is under siege. But luckily, there is a natural shaft that forms a hidden passageway which leads to an exit at the top of this cliff. This enabled people to bring food and supplies directly to the castle during a siege. Like most of the castles on this list, Prijama Castle is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the area. And who wouldn't want to visit this impressive castle? Number 7. Braun Castle, Romania This next castle is an interesting one. Braun Castle was first mentioned in 1377. Since then, it has been used in the defense against the Ottoman Empire as a customs post, a royal residence within the Kingdom of Romania, a hospital during the Second World War, and much more. If you visit the castle today, you'll find that it now has a museum which displays art and furniture collected by the late Queen Maria. Number 6. Mukachevo Castle, Ukraine also known as Palinuk Castle, this castle is situated on a former 223-foot high volcanic hill in the historical city of Mukachev in western Ukraine. Like many of the castles featured on this list, Mukachevo Castle has a long history, one that is believed to date back to the 14th century when the original building was erected on the site. Since then, it has been transformed into an impregnable fortress by French engineers. Not only has the building changed, but it has also housed several different families over the centuries, such as the Koryatovich family, the regent of Hungary, Janos Hanyadi, and even has functioned as an all-European political prison. 
unlike Windsor Castle, you can enjoy exploring this castle, and you can even enjoy a nice coffee and a stroll around the souvenir shop. Number 5. Pena Palace, Portugal The next castle on this list is definitely the most colorful, and there is no way visitors can miss this impressive, romanticist castle. Located in Portugal, its history dates back to the medieval period when the chapel of Our Lady Pena was built on the top of the hill, and according to legend, it was initially built after the apparition of the Virgin Mary. In the late 14th century, a monastery was also built on the site, but this suffered severe damage in the Great Lisbon Earthquake of 1755. The following century, Ferdinand II decided to buy the ruins of the old monastery, the chapel, and other surrounding land and set about building the monumental palace. The last Queen of Portugal is believed to have spent her last night in the castle before leaving the country in exile. Since then, it has become a popular tourist destination for many visitors and is definitely worth checking out. Number 4. Conwy Castle, Wells Situated in Conwy on the north coast of Wells in the United Kingdom, Conwy Castle is the only castle on this list which sits in ruin. Built by Edward I during his conquest of Wells in the 13th century, it was part of a larger project to build the walled town of Conwy. Over its long history, it played an important part in several battles, withstood sieges, and changed hands many times. To name just a few, Madagap Llewellyn sieged the castle in the 13th century, and it was later used as a haven for Richard II. Centuries later, during the English Civil War, it was first held by royalist forces, but ultimately surrendered to the parliamentary armies, who partially destroyed it to ensure it couldn't be used by anyone else. And this was the beginning of the end for Conway Castle, which was completely ruined in 1665. Since then, the castle has managed to remain relatively intact, minus a bit of weathering here and there. During the late 18th century and early 19th century, it was a destination for artists and poets, and as visitors' numbers grew in the 19th century, the castle underwent its first restoration period. Today, it is classified as a World Heritage Site, and it is described by UNESCO as one of the finest examples of a late 13th century, early 14th century military architecture in Europe. Number 3. Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany As one of the most famous castles in Germany, the Neuschwanstein Castle looks like it's been plucked straight out of a fairy tale. Located on a rugged hill high above the village of Hohenschwango near Fussen in southwest Bavaria, Germany. This Romanesque revival palace was built during the 19th century by Ludwig II of Bavaria, using his own money instead of public funds. Although you can admire Ludwig II for this amazingly designed castle, other aspects of his domestic rules, as outlined in another Zero to Hero video, Worst Kings and Queens in History, he was definitely not considered the most effective ruler of Bavaria. Nevertheless, this castle is a lasting memory to his desire to create a home which is both a retreat from the everyday world and an homage to Richard Wagner, a composer and theater director whom the king favored. Prior to the development of the castle that exists today, the ruins of two medieval twin castles once stood on the site and were completely destroyed to make way for the new castle. Although it was commissioned to be Ludwig's home, he actually only spent 11 nights at the castle, and it still hadn't been completed by the time of his death in 1886. Ironically, it was meant to be a retreat from public life, but within years of Ludwig's death, the castle was open to the public, and since then, around 1.3 million people visit the site every year. And it has had over 60 million visitors since it first opened to the public. So much for privacy. Number 2. Buda Castle, Hungary if you thought any of the other castles on this list had a complex, detailed history, then Buda Castle tops them all. This castle has been built, destroyed, redesigned, destroyed again, modernized, gutted, and redesigned again. And that's just a quick overview of its history. Situated on the south tip of Castle Hill, Buda Castle was first completed around 1265. But this is obviously not the castle visitors see today. Today, the oldest part of the present-day palace dates back to the 14th century, but much of the medieval palace was destroyed during the Great Siege of 1686 when Buda was captured by Christian forces. The massive Baroque palace that dominates the skyline today was built during the 18th century. But 
that wasn't the end of the story, and it was destroyed again during the Second World War. Later restorization and modernization of the castle continued right up to the 21st century, and now visitors can explore the complex site with its amazing architecture and lavish interiors. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Budapest, and it's definitely worth a visit. Before we get to number one, take a moment to hit that subscribe button below. Number one, Edinburgh Castle, Scotland. Situated high on Castle Rock, a volcanic plug in the middle of Edinburgh. It is impossible to miss this impressive castle that is Edinburgh Castle. Located in Scotland and like many castles in the region, Edinburgh Castle has a long and detailed history. But before a castle was erected on the site, this hill had been used as far back as the Iron Age, around the second century. The first reference to an actual castle dates back to the 12th century, when it was referenced in John Forden's account of the death of King Malcolm. During the Scottish Wars of Independence, the castle changed hands between the Scottish and English several times, but by the time the wars ended, the castle was back in Scottish control. The history of this castle is so detailed and complex that it would take more than one video just to cover half of its history, so we recommend you check it out for yourself. Today, Edinburgh Castle is a scheduled ancient monument and part of a World Heritage Site, and it's one of the top destinations to visit in all of Scotland. Tell us about any castles you'd like to visit in the comments below, and take care!